Check. Hi. I'm on my match in the dark. 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 Coming up next, it's a UFC featherweight division fight. excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here today. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. As you get desperate, you start to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. Well, you can argue this is the most influential martial artist of all time, the great Bruce Lee, making his walk to the octagon here tonight, Jim. Everybody wants to be Bruce Lee. They say they want to be like Mike. If you're a fighter, you want it to be like Bruce Lee. You want it to be that fast. He wanted to be that charismatic. He wanted to have an ability to just freeze your opponents. Your speed, your movement, just the diversity in the attacks that you can give your opponents would just confuse people. I mean, I watched him beat a seven foot Kareem Abdul Jabbar right. to stay undefeated. Right. If you can do that, you can do anything. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick. 10,000 times, Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Just so wise. Our tale of the tape for this featherweight fight. So a more than five year gap between these two fighters when it comes to the age, with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffett. This is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC and the weight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Moscow, Russia, Bazooka. And now to defeat his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, make the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, and a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. The fighters touch gloves. Started here, round one is underway. And we've got a strike that he is forced to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. I mean, can you imagine having a reach advantage like this? What a luxury. It's a luxury. I've never had one over the course of my entire career. But fighting guys that are taller, you struggle whenever they are very aware of such a massive advantage. This guy is going to try and use this tonight. Nice punch here. And he landed the right hand there. Touched by that kick there. Oh, 
So turning defense into offense there as he counters with a jab to the head. He's got the reach advantage, and it certainly paid there. Perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, uppercut to the head, but it's blocked there by Lee. Caught that kick there. Just misses with the jab there. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Check the high kick. And they separate. Look at him drive his shins into the corner's body with that body. Oh, he lands a huge knee to the body. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Nice loop and punch. Try to establish that jab. Let's get more active with the Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Another straight left. Leg kick checked by Lee. Oh, big knee to the body. That'll soften him up. Oh! Right hand. Oh, how about it? Huge kick landed. Lee going for the leg kick. He misses. Oh. Twenty seconds left. Nice one, two there. Big punch land. Kick to the body by Lee. Back and forth we go here. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. He won that last round. He was all over you. He did better than that. Come on now. Let's shake it out. Let's get back in there. Let's get back to the game plan. Hands high. Work the high. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. A high number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing high kicks, leg kicks, body kicks. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Head kick blocked. Well, you 
saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Good stick. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may blow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Oh, that's a nice strike. And both guys really throwing with authority. Come on, let's get back in this fight. Connects with a right. Check that kick as well. No place kick there by Lee. Good punch, Lance. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. And he comes through with a big knee. Just missed with the left there. Lee gets caught with that punch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Back and forth we go! Lee's now dealing with a cheat cut. Straight punch land. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Hey, he's really bad. He's got him hurt here. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. No problem getting inside to land that straight punch. He's got a huge edge in reach, and he made good use of it there. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. That was a thudding leg kick. Just missed on the front kick there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Thirty seconds to go. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Great punch. Fifteen seconds. Right hand upstairs. Got him whip his hip into that kick. Lee got caught by another right hand. He's loaded up on that right hand, too. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, so in entertaining five minutes, let's look back at some of the highlights, DC. And I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. Because you're dropping your hands. You need to go back to the game plan, just like you practiced in the gym. 
All right, here we go as our next round gets Ready. underway. His strong Ready. leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, big shot lands. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. a knee there. Nice deception there to get that knee to the target. Really good knee. Nice job of right, right to the target. Get it to land exactly where you want. He's looking to set up that high kick now. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Oh, that's a good right hand. Beautiful jab by him there, really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, it's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight, and that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective with it. Oh. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. going after the head. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice check on the leg kick offering there. If your opponent has an inner clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside to try to find space. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So there it is, longer reach, paying dividends as he counters with a punch. Nice punch, Lynch. Lee's face is a hot mess, man. That cut on his cheek is getting worse by the minute and worse with every strike landed by his opponent. Continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Leg kick. Oh, 
What a body kick. That's three, three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so that's the end of the round. Pretty significant damage done in that round. Cut on the cheek, sustained there from that strike. Now the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. Better to be below the eye than above it, sure. But nonetheless, this could be a factor now moving forward. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Nice punch land through the top. What a tricky head kick. He lands flush with that right hand. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. Just unable to quite find that range. Look at the torso on the right side. Major bruising, and it's only getting worse. Big kick lane. Defense. Nice defense there. Huge block. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Trying to kick the leg out. Big punch land. Ooh. Right hand upstairs. Roundhouse attempt just misses. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. It's such a fast leg. Oh, beautiful combination of kicks. That one snuck in. Nice strike. He's determined to land as many leg kicks as he can in this fight. Connects with a right hand. Pretty good punch, that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Just missed with the leg kick. Lee gets hit with a kick. Checks the leg kick. What a punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt oh. bad. Oh. 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 He loaded up there on that high kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. short knife for his opponent, but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming. It landed flush, and the rest, as they say, is history. Big knockout win for him here tonight. So a strong candidate for some bonus money there. A huge knockout for him here tonight. Near perfect execution. They'll be talking about this result for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliotta is going to stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 20 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee!
So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knocking. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that will listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.